Hey guys, Greg here, Underground Graphics. We just got a customer drop off um, their Eruption Green four door for a Mach 1 rocker and a hood. This is going to be the matte black with the Badland or Badlands orange pinstripe. Um, this was an online order, but he did come in. He was local, so he's going to have us do this install on it. Um, I did want to show again what this kind of looks like when this comes out. Um, this one, I believe, we hand hand did. That's why you've got some of these imperfections in in the mask. But we get a lot of calls. They're like, "Oh my God, this this kit. There's something wrong with this. This is horrible. This is a pre mask. This this film on top is there to protect that vinyl. So when we squeegee, uh, we're not going right on top of that vinyl. So um, yeah, there's that. Don't worry about that. Um, we didn't label these because we knew we were going to do the installation, but it'll say driver, passenger, you know, and so on and so on. Um, also, upon um, drop off, he told us that this has been expelled. So this has a full expelled PPF wrap on that. What does that mean for us? Not a whole lot. We're not going to get that adhesion that we would like, um, but we just want to make sure um, that we post heat and make sure that that, that, that adhesive is going to get as good as it's going to get. We've done um, uh, installations on top of this many times before and had little issue. Um, again, it's that uh, ceramic coating that may give us the issue. And then with that, what we would do is just go with it with a light polish and that, you, that, that seems to work. So um, again, we just brought this in a few minutes ago. I want to check the, that temp on that. You don't want this to be hot. Um, and I have alcohol this. Again, we talked about that alcohol water mix. Um, some do like a 3070. I, I like that 10, like a 1090. Um, just a little bit of alcohol in there to get off those contaminants. Um, and again, this is, um, I would like it a little bit cooler, but um, I, can, I can do that with no problem. The good thing with the Expel um, being on there it is it's a lot more forgiving. We can put this down, pull it up, pull it down, pull it up. Um, again, it's not going to have that tack like um, straight on paint would. Um, and again, I cannot stress, we do not want to go over ceramic coating. Um, they typically do not stick to ceramic coating. Again, we can work around it. We've made it work. Um, but um, yeah, this will be good. That rocker, um, if you've seen that kit, and again, this proof was on the wrong color, but that's that Mach 1 rocker. He's got a Mach 1 at home. We wanted to kind of follow that same theme and do that little kick down there at the bottom on the front. And of course, that matching hood right there. So let's get started. I like to do these little steps um, right and left side. So I'm not moving that stuff around. And again, we've done these hoods so many, many times. So we talk about masking tape. Cannot never have enough of that those tools, uh, masking tape. Um, our kits are going to come with a hard squeegee. Um, this is a hard squeegee with a soft felt tip end on it. I'm not sure if we have the felt tip uh, ends on the site yet, but we should have those up there soon. If you don't have it, just wrap a microfiber towel around the edge of that. And again, this is really just so once that mask is off, you have something smooth, so you're not going to scratch the vinyl if you need to go back and, and push that down again. Um, a blade, probably am not going to need this, maybe, it, well, at least on the hood we're not going to need it, but on that rocker, if we need to cut in between those doors, um, that's what we're going to want that blade for, and of course, scissors, um, cut off the backing paper, tape measure to measure, although again, that kit's going to follow right along that, that bottom line, uh, right, right under that spear, there's about a three inch um, rocker, which is that sweet spot, and that's what we've got that set right into. I'm going to be using a torch today. Um, if you haven't used it, don't recommend y'all doing that. Um, but again, I'll explain that as I get into it. I may pop out the heat gun just to, just to, sh to show you on the demo. And of course, here's that alcohol water mix, which again, I've already done all that area. This thing came in immaculately clean. So again, I just want to go back over that area that I knew I was going to be working in. So I want to get this easy piece done first. make sure there's no debris on the back of that and again these are cut to fit almost exactly I do like having a little bit of paint showing on the on the back side here but if you want to pull that back you can it may leave a little bit more in the front so again we, we, we designed that to go this way but for now I'm just going to tape 
my side. I'm going to come back on that other side. Again, I've done this so many times, I can almost eyeball where I know this is centered. little bit every time I still do the same thing okay once we have that center where we want it we're gonna hinge top and bottom so two more pieces of tape and again if you want to stand on the tire you can but you don't want to put too much pressure on this and also you don't want to put your hand right in the middle of that hood, but I've also done the, the trail sites. You can kind of go in that corner. And again, that glass, I would not put a lot of weight on that windshield. I have broken a windshield before. Only did it once, and it takes once. All right, so we are good to go. Get those scissors. I do like to use that wiper as a holder or something you can lay a towel down to. That's why I'm up on that glass. So with that tape, this is going to be my marker. I'm going to put my squeegee down, give that a little pop. That's now my marker. I'm going to get up on top of this, so I'm going to get up on that tire. Now I'm going to talk about temperature. Like I say, you don't want this on a hot hood. And you also don't want to do this outside. So this is a temperature controlled garage. I believe we're at about 72 degrees. I'm just going to let that, don't pull on it, just let that lay right back in that spot. And then start to squeegee out. Overlapping strokes. Again, you're going to have that hard edge. Now with that PPF on here, I don't have to worry about scratches as it is self-healing. But still, if you didn't, you want to, you don't want to go crazy on that. Just go right to that edge. This is right on top of that bump, so you're good. That's why you can still go that soft side if you want to come over, and then you can go back a little harder if you need to. All right, now we can take these off. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Let me pull that back just a hair. Let's match up with this tape line. There we go. Remember those overlapping strokes. So if you haven't noticed, this is a dry install. We um, pretty much only sell dry install kits. We found if you start to get that bubble in there, or you see a little bit of wrinkle, that'll probably squeeze you right out. But you can also lift that up, lay it right back down. Once we started doing wraps, we fell in love with this material. It's still cast. It's awesome. And it's so much easier to install. A little trickier to get used to, but for the do-it-yourselfer, I think it's just a blessing. I have to mess with all that watery, soapy mix and time and whatever. If this was a wet install, I don't know where we'd be. We'd probably still just be getting started getting it set but for the most part this is now done and I want to roll that you take this mask off you don't want to pull straight up you want to kind of go with the graphic and then check like all these little spots there's just something weird in there we'll go back to the front Save 
use that for the rocker. And then I think we're good on that. I'm gonna go back with that heat gun now. So if you do have any weird imperfection in there, uh, we get those calls a lot too. If there's something under here, I can't tell what it is. It's not squeegeeing out. As long as this isn't set, we have these plastic razors, but you can use the edge of a blade or something just to carefully lift that edge. I just did some kind of weird adhesive in the bottom of that. But pull it up, lay it right back down, and that is perfect. And again, I like to use that torch. Um, most cases, um, on a flat surface, you don't have to post heat. In this case, I absolutely would since it's on that expel. So again, I'm gonna have that squeegee ready. But we're gonna go right over. Now, ideally you wanna get this to about 180 degrees. I do not have my digital thermometer thingy. But what I'm looking for is just any uh, adhesive to come up. You'll see a little bubble appear if I didn't get a good squeegee on it. And if you sit in one spot with this, you will, I don't know if you burn the vinyl, but you're gonna discolor it. You're gonna turn it shiny. So you do wanna keep that heat moving. So right there, there's a little spot there that wasn't squeegee down. So I don't wanna squeegee it right away. We'll just let that cool for a minute. And we'll go back over it. And again, I've been doing this for a while. I know about how hot that is and that is really close. And I can't even tell where that was. So that soft squeegee side Let's go hit that other side. If you guys are doing this at home, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. I think I've got a couple of videos of hoods, but never hurts to have another. That trailing edge or that edge on the front, that's what we want to make sure is really tacked because when that weather hits and it, get, it gets rained, if there's any lift in the front of this graphic, once that gets under the adhesive, this graphic is toast. So right along this front edge, I wanna make sure that is good and down. Right back into, uh, or doing the rocker. We just finished up that hood. If you can see that, I um, wanted to show how close that matte black is to the trim. We get a lot of questions on, should I do satin black, gloss black, matte black? Uh, I'd say nine out of 10, we're doing matte black. Now that is a little bit more maintenance, you gotta keep that clean. Um, if you're not the type to take care of it, then I would go with the satin. Um, but it is a great match to the fenders and the trim and, and everything else on here. So I got this old school creeper from 20 years ago. Do that tape. And again, I have alcohol this already with a little quick detail, not quick detail, uh, microfiber rag. It's just this area that we're working on. He brought this in pretty clean. I can see a little fingerprints and stuff around somewhere else, but that's not my concern right now. Now, again, we talked about that three inch spot. I believe this is this right here under the spear. So from this crease to this crease here, that's our main, our main body line. That's what we've, we've created all of our rocker kits off of. Um, then we have a three inch, we have a four inch, and we can either go a little bit lower, we go a little bit taller. We do run into this top one if you wanna go a little bit thicker with it. But as you can see, these all fit right into that. So I want a little bit of roll on the front. That's gonna suck up right to the back. And 
and I'm going to go ahead and get these placed. Right now, I'm just going to eyeball it. And you've got a little bit of wiggle room if you want to roll that back edge or you want some paint exposed. Again, I like having a little bit of paint on the front and back, and I do like to roll these edges here in the door seam. But on that back, I like that right up to that edge. Let's try that. And what we're going to check for to make sure it's straight is just kind of walk down to the back and just eye level, look down the side of that vehicle. And you'll see it if it's got any kink to it. Now you can match up here. Again, I got a little bit of a roll there. So I like need to bring it back a little bit. There's a lot of different ways to do this. If you want to measure it, you can mark your, your, you know, mark mark your measurements with tape to kind of do this, so you know where that's going to be to go back. Probably do that. I'm going to look down here first and see how this looks. Um, I will say, even measuring with your tape measure isn't always perfect. Sometimes that eyesight just does fine because these doors aren't perfect. We've learned that on ours. Okay, here's that part. What I'm looking at is that orange pinstripe. I'm looking at that top line with that sphere. I'm looking at the bottom of the stripe on that bottom line. And uh, I'm surprised that actually, that's like I hit that in the first shot. And if you have us do an install and we mess it up, we replace it. If you do an install, you mess it up. You still get one chance. We have a new program called IPC. Where if you mess up on an install, now it's not the full kit, but if you mess up a piece or mess up a section, we will send you out a new piece for that. And whether you work left to right, right to left, I kind of am doing all this at once, but then we will find a, a spot to start from. You do want to go one direction or the other. And we can use those marks like we did on the hood, just like this one here. my line for the top over there. Now I am going to go right to left on here. Got my scissors. You do want to check too when you cut. I know I didn't do it on that hood, but you want to have very sharp scissors and check to make sure there's no paper remnants on that adhesive. Sometimes we see people get something in their vinyl and they don't know what it is and it's actually little pieces of, of paper. So again, I'll kind of tack that. This PPF, I want to make sure I'm getting a good hard. You saw I went light first just to make sure that I got its initial tack with no wrinkles. And again, that's why we use that air release. On this back side, we've got the uh, kit taped up on the door, so that can actually be our lineup as well. Remember to take this side off. If you want to use that, you can. I'll just 
pick up right before you squeegee that down. I'm going real light at first. Make sure that's in that spot and it's exactly where I want it to be. Now I can come back. Now if you squeeze your hard, you may build some pressure in there. So you do want to kind of go up and down in those overlapping strokes. Remember, I've got that right under there. So lift up, pull that back. And again, I'm not worried about if this was, you know, this is PPF, but again, that squeegee is right on that, that flat part, that three inch I, was, I mentioned earlier. So with that here, the squeegee is not touching this and it's not touching this. It's just right on that stripe. So now I have to do a little picking to get that started off the back. And then just like we talked about on the hood, the 180 degree angle, you don't want to pull out. You're going to you take it right off the door or right against itself. And then with your heat gun, <coughs> Torch. I just want to check for that initial, make sure I got all that down and I do. I'm going to come back here. You got a couple options here. You can actually take that blade. There's not a lot to roll this into, so you can. I'm going to go ahead and just cut that. And this is something that people always ask us about. We're not cutting on that paint. We're going to take this blade and use the top side of this, get that started, and just drag that along there real gently. And what I've left myself with is just enough on that edge to roll that. We're going to heat that up with your heat gun, not the torch. And then when we open that door, which I can't do right now, but we're gonna go ahead and just make sure that that, that inside is set. And while we're here, we can go ahead and knock out that front piece. Now this one, if you remember, I just laid that piece up there on top. Now I can really eyeball that and just make sure I, I line that up right and we're gonna be good. down first I'm not worried about those so all those contours I can see that vinyl starting to do a little shift on it and something else that we do a little differently than others is this pre-mask this is a transfer right air mask which is conformable so technically you can go right over that I still am a little worried about that but I mean it's it's conformable we can we can get a lot more out of this than we can with paper Always clear. And once we get this off, then we can go back and a little bit of heat soften that up. There's that little spot there I felt in the mask. And I'm going to go ahead and heat that up just a little bit. And that leads right out. That's gone. And that's right into that edge. And then same thing here. This one. Peel this back up a little bit and it will tuck around that edge of the inside of this fender. So I do want to get that just up just a little bit. Pop open that door. Let's get that soft again. I'm going to roll that right in there.
kind of feel the backside too where where I don't feel anything lining up, but we can check that again later. I do have a lot extra on this side. Again, I just want to get that soft to get those the hardness out of there and just go real slowly. I can see how far they went with that PPF. It's ending just past where this vinyl is ending with that PPF. That's why I wanted to give a little bit more on that. I still think it'll be fine though. And again, when we're done, we want to go back with that heat gun and just post heat all this. All right, and our last piece that lines up there. So really have this marker and we have the stripe we just laid as another marker. Light first. Last marker. Light first. And you can see where you got a little bit of that roll in with that crease on the back of that door that rolls into the fender. So maybe a little bit easier to. And again, I did not want to roll that back edge on this one, just as this matches the front. But there is enough. Should you want to do that, if you want to roll that back edge, and be on a white vehicle. I've got about a half inch at the front, so you do. I, I give a little bit extra. in a little bit of a corner. And then same thing. Just use your finger, use your squeeze if you want. Alright, I think I'm going to go back and check this corner. And again, I'm going to go back with heat gun. Right there. Let that cool for a second. And that's where you want that soft side again. This piece right there. Like I said, we'll go back once we get the other side done and uh, do a full post heat with that heat gun like we did on the hood. Um, for now, I'm going to go ahead and knock out that other side. Uh, we'll take a break, come back, and we'll go over um, we'll go over the post heating and uh, see the finished product. All right. 